make sure you select the front viewport and um, you can click this button down here to maximize it and there we go we can see it now now we need to move the, um, the, the planet so that it's near or on the center of the, uh, the viewport okay now what we want to do is go to this button here to standard primitives and we want to create a plane now we drag a plane into the, uh, the viewport here okay we want to change the segments to one of each okay oops so we've got one width and one length okay right now we need to come out of this view and in this um, top view here what we want to do is zoom right in and we want to move it to behind the um, the explode um, the planet sorry um, and we need to I think I need to scale that up a bit as well okay that's it so it's just behind the um, the planet Earth okay move over to our camera view without deselecting the plane go up to tools and then we want to do is click align to view okay right now we need to assign a material to the uh, the plane so press M to bring up your materials find an empty slot okay and uh, click this button here to assign it to the plane and you can also see it in the viewport here as well now we go up to this blank button here which is next to the diffuse button and click it and then select bitmap okay and now I've got to find my um, uh, my video file okay and there we are it's assigned in the um, in, in the material um, sphere there right I just want to assign it and click on this so it's viewable in the viewport and I'm going to change the shape of this to a box so we see all um, all, all three corners of, of the uh, explosion okay if you um, move the slider while in the map screen you can see that it actually animates inside the uh, in, in the um, box there but what we're going to do now is uh, make a few more adjustments to this to make the explosion look a little bit better. What I would suggest is that you um, scale your um, um, plane here or explosion um, video here uh, to a size that suits your um, your planet. So what I would do is uh, scale that right up, and I'll scale it right out because obviously this is an Earth explosion, so it needs to be rather big. Okay, so try and see if you can make it there we go as you can see in your um, camera viewport here you've got the explosion behind it now what we want to do is create an opacity map so back in your material um, editor click on this button here which goes back to the parent okay I'm going to open up my map slider here and I should find an um, empty slot here that says opacity click on it go to bitmap and I'm going to select explosion alpha basically it's exactly the same video but in black and white click open and now as you can see the um, this has given it a transparency so you, can, you can't see the black box anymore that it was, it's basically now uh, completely see through so I'm now going to go back to the top here um, I'm going to assign it, show it in the viewport and as you can see now the actual square background has disappeared I'm going to click on this and you can see that it's now transparent so we now long, no longer have the square background of the plane and it's now just an explosion right now what we want to do is go up to the top here again and make sure you turn off the, uh, the specular level to zero glossiness to zero okay and then what you want to do is come out of your materials uh, right click your plane object properties um, rendering control um, and make sure that it is, does not receive shadows or cast shadows and click OK. Now what we want to do is uh, in our map setting uh, click on our diffuse button here which should be your um, explosion uh, scroll right down to time open up the time slider and set the start time to frame 20 because if you do not set this your explosion will just loop and loop and loop throughout the whole video okay and what you want to then do is click on hold select make sure that hold is selected okay and then what you want to do is click on this button here which um, takes you to 
the opacity uh, map and do exactly the same thing 20 and hold and that will now set your explosion to go at frame number 20 so as you can see in the camera view here it won't explode until frame 20 now if I do a preview of that we'll see what we come back with so let's just click render wait for the blur to kick in and there you have it, you have your explosion with your particle blur here right okay we're going to do one more thing before we've completed right what we want to do is make sure that our um, plane is selected and press space to lock it and then we want to do is change our view up here to local right okay go to our top viewport here right click it and then what we want to do is click on move right hold down your shift and move it forward so it's in front of the actual planet right when you've um, released you'll get this button come up make sure you select copy click OK well, I think what I need to do is move that back a bit more there we go that's fine right click this plane object properties um, and we're going to click on see through and this won't affect the rendering uh, too much there we go and that is it if you managed to stay with me throughout this whole tutorial then you've done a very very good job and basically when you've uh, rendered this video out you should get a nice explosion of the uh, of the planet earth okay uh, well my name is uh, Dave Jones and I'm from a videofxuniverse.com and you can download this tutorial in higher quality from the website um, if you want to sign up to the forum um, please do you know if ever you need help with anything um, or if you're an expert and you need to give advice then please do as well